So um, I feel like everyone can identify with this because everybody who's ever picked up a guitar has tried to learn that song. Do you remember learning that song for the first time? Yeah, and I don't think I learned it the right way. Because I remember when I first learned it, I was playing it like down here, and then I realized that it's up here, up here when it starts. And you know, there's certain notes when you're when you're just a kid and you just pick up the guitar for the first time, you kind of just play in the bar band version of it, where it's you're not hearing all the little cool things that Jimmy Page was doing until you're more of an accomplished guitar player. So. Um, I mean, I watched a lot of videos of him playing it, and you know, he tweaked, he tweaked the way he played it live. Obviously, there was, mm -hmm. you know, the song remains the same. There was a lot of additional things which I wasn't going to try to copy. That I was going to stick to the original, but <laughs> yeah, there was, you know, all down to the picking and everything. I was trying to get it just exactly the same because it's, you know, I like it to to be as close to the original as possible. If you're doing a song like that, you know, it's just, I don't know. We didn't really have time to, it was kind of like, not that it was rushed, but it was like, we could, I guess we could have really worked harder on making it like our own sound. But I mean, I think with Braun singing it and just capturing the emotion of like what we're all going through at that time is how we put our own spin on it, you know. Did you look up tabs for it at all? Uh, no. I didn't. I just I watched a lot of videos of him playing it, and then some other guys playing it, like on you know YouTube. I cheated, I guess, a little bit, but I I've known listened to it enough that I knew like what what chords were what. You know, I just listened to it a lot and made sure that I had. The hardest part for me was the the when it comes back in because there's no time to it like you know what I mean there's no click yeah it's just like they were all you could tell they're all in the same room looking at each other like okay -da -da -da. so I was trying to count it and like it is pretty in time but it was uh, that part kind of stumped me for honestly I was like trying to get it perfect with with our drummer with Braun you know like we got it eventually but it, it was trickier than I thought it was gonna be because it's because when they didn't, they didn't use click tracks back then. You know, things were like the, the tempo goes up, the tempo goes down, the tempo goes up, the tempo goes down, the tempo goes in the middle. So it's, it's hard to land on this, the exact same hits when you're when there's no click and you're just kind of you had to feel it. You know, you just had to okay. I think, but it took me a minute to like really feel when we were when we wrote it. You know, because we couldn't we took the click out there too. I like it when a song breathes, and sometimes there's little mistakes in there and stuff. Oh, sure, yeah, there's a lot of that with Zeppelin. Yeah. Are there some mistakes in Mastodon's songs that have made the <laughs> record <laughs> mm. that maybe haunt you or are really cool now because it's like that's just how the song goes now? Not really. Because, you know, when we first started going to the studio, like with our, with like Brendan O'Brien, or he, he wouldn't let any of that stuff fly. He'd be like, nah, that's not it. That note. Sometimes I wouldn't notice it. I'd be like, he'd be like, those notes are rubbing, whatever that is, so you can't play that. And I was like, <laughs> I thought it sounded cool the way it was rubbing, but, you know, we hired him so we could take his advice, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and if you want more music news, just subscribe to Old Dark TV and press that little bell to get notifications.